It's diminishing to the brand and reputation of the company. Another twist in the ongoing conflict at Rogers Communications. On Thursday, the son of late company founder Ted Rogers was removed as chairman of the board after chief executive Joe Natale learned through a pocket dial that there was a plan afoot to oust him. Well, it's very unfortunate and sad. Edward reportedly tried to replace five board members with new ones. The plan was blocked by the board, which includes his mother and two sisters, but it didn't end there. On Sunday, he held a meeting in BC with newly appointed board members. He now says he's been reinstated as chair and plans to take his case to the B.C. Supreme Court. His sister Martha tweeted, I see Ed has appointed himself the chairman, LOL. This should be taken as seriously as if he appointed himself the King of England. Some of uh, Canadian uh, commentators have likened this to succession. We're going to be the number one media conglomerate in the world. But in succession on television, all the children have votes, they all have shares, and what uh, and Logan is alive. And here, Mr. Rogers has passed away, and all of the marbles belong to one child. Meantime, Edward Rogers remains chair of the Rogers Control Trust, the controlling shareholder of the company. It holds around 97% of its voting shares. Families have problems all the time, but it usually takes place behind closed doors. So what next? Rotman School of Management professor Richard Powers says... You know, they're right in the middle of, of trying to consummate this uh, takeover of Shaw Communications at $26 billion. Joe Natale, the CEO, has been leading that team in trying to execute that deal. Are you going to be the largest telecommunications company in Canada, or are you going to still be struggling with, you know, family and board issues? Shalima Maharaj, Global News.